Hi, my name's Michelle Sultan. Let's break down the different curl types. I'm gonna start with a 3A. This is the point where wavy hair meets curly hair. You're generally gonna be looking at a loopy S-shaped curl. It's gonna need a lot of support in terms of, you know, getting definition through the curls and also making sure that you're getting the volume that it needs and deserves. A lot of the time this hair can tend to go a little bit flat, so I would recommend having it cut in layers if possible, and also using finger styling to help define and bring out the waves to a curl. Next, we'll talk about 3B hair. This is the type of hair that looks like springy ringlets, almost the size of a finger. This type of hair can be prone to dryness and needs all the extra moisture that it can take. We're gonna talk about 3C hair. This type of hair generally looks like tight corkscrews. 3C hair is the type of hair that if it's not hydrated properly, can be prone to a higher frizz factor and can look very dehydrated. You need to make sure that you're using a great hair mask in order to sealing all the hydration and all the moisture that it needs. It also is prone to being very dense and having a huge amount of volume. So you wanna make sure that you're getting regular trims to make sure that you're taking care of those ends so it's not getting tangled. Being a type three curly girl myself, I always use the hydration serum. This is really good for just locking in the moisture without giving me any weighty hold on my hair. It also defines my hair and doesn't make it too crunchy. It doesn't make it dry. There's no alcohol in here, so it just makes my hair feel great. Next, we're gonna talk about 4A curls. Enter the coils. This is the bridge between curly and afro hair, curls that could fit around a chopstick. This type of hair requires a lot more moisture, say, than type three hair needs. So you'll be needing to make sure that you're really up on your moisture, using your masks, and using defining products that will help to really define the curl. 4A hair is full of spirals, lots of tight spirals. Also, it's prone to really high frizz factor. It's the type of hair that can soak up as much conditioner as you can feed it. 4B hair generally is a very tight coil. It takes on like a corkscrew, zigzag or a loop or even tight S's. With this hair, we need to make sure that we're locking in as much moisture as possible and make sure that you're using products to support and define the natural texture of the hair. I'm always gonna make sure I'm giving the hair extra hydration with the Curl Restoring Intensive Mask. This is really gonna make sure the moisture and the hydration is locked right into that hair. I would leave this on for a long period of time with a plastic cap overnight if you can. 4C hair is very similar to 4B hair, but even tighter in texture. It often requires extra TLC because it is the most delicate and the most fragile of all hair types. It often gets confused for being very strong because of the look. To help combat brittle and dry hair, you can use an oil which will help to seal and hydrate the hair shaft. 4C hair is the type of hair that is relentlessly dry, hence why having to use extra oils to lock the moisture in. It's the type of hair that is hypersensitive to rough styling, so please be gentle with this delicate hair. A great styling aid for type 4 hair would be definitely the creme gel. This is because it helps for twist outs. You can use it for finger styling. I personally use this on twist outs to lock in the shape that I want to create on very tightly coiled hair.